السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله the growth flowering and fruition process of plants are enhanced by the nutrients and the light energy that is used during photosynthesis the roots of plants which are normally underground act as anchorage they absorb water and dissolve minerals from the soil through the stem through branches the leaves and to other parts of the plant the lives of plants depend mostly on photosynthesis water minerals carbon dioxide and sunlight photosynthesis is the process by which plants use sunlight water and carbon dioxide to create oxygen and energy in the form of sugar when photosynthesis continuously take place the plant begins to bear fruits each fruit starts with a flower this process passes through four stages thus pollination fertilization growth and development to become ripe fruits in the process of pollination insects like honey bees take the pollen grains from another flower to the stigma of that flower fertilization then occurs when the pollen grains on the stigma generates a tube that grows downwards into the ovary to fertilize the ovum of the plant creating an embryo the embryo develops by thickening the ovary wall which becomes the outer wall of the fruit most fruits become ripe through the change of their color some softened inside please take a critical look at these two pictures definitely you will see the wonders of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he made the impossible a possibility here these two plants are exceptional to the general rule of fusion they have no stems branches and leaves despite that they lack most of what it takes to fruit the however fruit it plainly the fruitions of these two plants to materialize without the normal stems branches and leaves talks in volumes of the grace of the almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in quran chapter 10 verse 107 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declares and if Allah should afflict you with harm then there is none to remove it but he and if he intends good for you there is none to repel his grace he sent it to whom he pleases of his servants and creation and he is the all forgiven the merciful Again in Quran chapter 81 verse 29 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and what you desire cannot happen but what Allah desires happens the lord of the universe Also in Quran chapter 85 verse 16 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphatically stated thus he Allah does whatever pleases him. These two pictures, no doubt, has increased our iman. Why? Because we now know that the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the absolute powers and can do what pleases him. 
On this note, I pray to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to curtail the coronavirus pandemic for the whole of humanity. I pray to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for relative peace to prevail in the world. I pray for all Muslims, men and women, children, and I pray to the Almighty Allah to let us be amongst His faithful servants and also humble servants. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Jumma'a Mubarak. And the recognition is to the name Shehu Professor Salawatia Sultan Dr. Rashid H. Sawat. Congratulations.